Hello, here is Valérie Inercy, and I'm here today to teach you the manipulation of the wheel. We will start with a simple hand manipulation, right and left, to get familiar with the wheel movement. Take the wheel in an angle and just swing it side to side. Open your hand and feel the opposition of the wheel. One is pulling, one is pushing. Huh? Now use the two hands to spin it around. Spin it both directions. What I'm trying to do is to have one hand in line with the uh, spinning axe and the other one to push. I'm trying to avoid grabbing the wheel to try to twist it and really use the movement of the hand to create the rotation. So once you're good with that, you won't need the other hand anymore. And you will see that the leaping hand is pushing and pulling, making small circles. If you see what my hand is doing, it's basically doing this. There is three family of movement that I consider important to learn for the manipulation. The waltzing motion. Second, it will be the coin spinning motion. And third will be the rolling motion. Keep the wheel at eyes height and hold it with straight arm. Now what you want to do is the small wibble side to side. Then when you're ready, you will let go the right hand in front of you and catch it behind you. Then same. Wibble side to side. Keep your arms straight behind you. And then you will let go the left hand and catch it in front of you. Now in continuation. So if I'm facing you, it looks like so. Let go the right hand, catch behind me. Let go the left hand, catch in front of me. Now in continuation. When this becomes easier and more constant, then you will let go your right hand first and then left and catch, catch. So you let go right and left and catch right and left. And then you can learn to do it from your knee. And with a little more of strength and power, you can lift it back into pushing side to side the wheel. Have fun with that, good luck, and be patient with yourself. This one is not so easy, it looks funny at the beginning. <laughs> good luck. So first, what I want to do is to have the wheel in an angle with a proper distance between my standing point and the standing point of the wheel. Maybe one meter, one meter and a half. And then I'm just moving side to side, trying to roll the wheel and not swing it. Yeah? So just... Once I'm good with that, then I start to hold the wheel. Always pushing in a straight line, not behind me. If I would try to push the wheel behind me, it will make it spin. So one more time, with an angle, one meter distance between the touching point of the wheel and your standing point, moving side to side, trying to keep a straight line to the wheel. And then you throw it in a straight line. It will go in a circle, because it is a circle. So you don't need to create a circle for the wheel to go in a circle. So another possibility is that you follow the wheel. So I use the left hand to keep the angle of the wheel at the same angle. And I use the right hand to give the speed. Once you have a good constant circle without wiggling is that you 
have a good balance between the angle and the speed of the wheel. If you don't have enough speed, the wheel will start to wobble like this. So I'll let you play with that and we see you soon for the next tutorial. Ciao!